2023 Nissan Aria Platinum Plus E for Orki first test, we've got questions. Pros Infinity grade interior materials Playful handling if you can disable the nannies Top end speed when you keep your foot in it Cons Egregious hide and seek e-step brake pedal Uncompetitive rear seat space comfort Pro Pilot Assist encourages left lane banditry. This Nissan Aria E for Orki is something of a head scratcher. Beyond the main question as to why the first company to offer a modern mainstream affordable electric car took 11 years to introduce its second model, chip shortages excusing only one version of it, there are other questions. Why was the launch variant the lower price, profit single motor version? Why was that motor placed in the front when so many class competitors opt for the better steering feel and handling dynamics that come with rear drive? And now that we've tested the top spec AWD 2023 Nissan Aria Platinum Plus E for Orki, we have additional questions about its old school power delivery. Hohan 0 to 60, impressive trap speed? By adding a second 238 horsepower, 221 pound feet motor in the rear, combined output jumps to 389 horsepower and 442 pound foot. Hey, wait a minute, you say? 2 times 238. Is 87 horsepower more than the battery can deliver? That's still sufficient oomph to lay down a 13.5 second, 108.1 miles per hour quarter mile time though, and it's a dramatic improvement relative to the big battery front drive or is 15.8 seconds at 92.9 miles per hour. These E4 Orki numbers look considerably quicker and faster than the car feels when making the run, however, because it seems to launch with even fewer than 389 horses. We sample traction control on and off, various drive modes, and brake torquing, but simply mashing the pedal in sport mode with traction off gave us the best run. The Aria 0 to 30 miles per hour time is a leisurely 2.3 seconds, and 0 to 60 takes 5.0 seconds. Most vehicles in our database that post a 108 miles per hour trap speed with such a low 30 miles per hour time are traction limited, two-wheel drive, manual transmission cars, a modern Honda Civic Type R and Z28S, Corvettes, or Trans and WS6S from the late 90s. An all-wheel drive electric car with this output should be capable of a much quicker launch, as demonstrated by the similarly powerful Volvo XC40 P8 AWD Recharge, 402 horsepower, 486 pound-foot, 1.8 seconds to 30, 4.2 to 60, 12.8 seconds at 107.7 miles per hour in the quarter. Our database includes one electric car with nearly identical power delivery, an early 2013 Tesla Model S. This single motor, rear drive, probably traction limited, example with the 85 kilowatt hour battery, rated at 362 horsepower and 325 pound foot, paced our Nissan neck and neck to 60 miles per hour before pulling ahead. So why is Nissan throttling its electron delivery from launch, for driving comfort? Battery life? Something else? How does the Aurea handle? Here, again, we get the impression Nissan is concerned its customers might not be able to manage 442 pound-foot of torque, so it makes disabling the nannies somewhat tricky, via the left steering wheel control. With all nannies on, senior technical editor Matt Chudzinski reports it was both slower and handled worse on the figure 8 course, losing the rotational advantage of all-wheel drive, pushing more through the corners, and accelerating more slowly out of them. With nannies off, the Aurea became a more willing and entertaining dance partner on our course, and we get the impression perhaps it sends more of the available power to the rear motor than the front, theoretically a 151-238 HP or 39-61 split would be possible. The Aurea's best lap time of 26.3 seconds at 0.71 g average betters the Volkswagen ID4 Pro SAWD by a half second but trails the Kia EV6 GT line by 0.4 second. The 666 pounds lighter Tesla Model Y dual motor performance, wearing more aggressive tires, runs way out ahead of them all at 24.8 seconds and 0.79 g average. About those brakes. 
we're already on record disapproving of EV regenerative braking systems that move the pedal to indicate how much braking is already happening. Mercedes EQ pioneered this bad idea, and Nissan's E-Step feature, a quasi one-pedal driving mode that won't bring the vehicle to a stop, perpetuates it. However, Nissan may have made the idea slightly worse with close pedal spacing that's enough to allow the brake pedal to graze the driver's chute while they are backing off on the accelerator, annoying them even when they aren't groping to find where the pedal is. On the positive side, disabling E-Step eliminates pedal movement even when regenerative braking occurs. This happens most in sport mode, which sort of emulates the amount of compression braking an engine would offer with a manual transmission. The indicator gauge showed about 80% of the maximum regen in this mode. There's a bit less regen in standard mode, and you get pure coasting in eco mode. Actual stopping power is fine. We woed the Aurea from 60 miles per hour in 122 feet, about on par with the Hyundai, Kia, and VW offerings, 117 to 124 feet. But it's well behind our Mustang Mach E 4X and Tesla Model Y test vehicles. 105 to 113 feet. Real-world range and not so fast charging. Opting for all-wheel drive drops the Aurea's EPA range from 289 to 257 miles, a figure that proved almost achievable in the real world. In Motor Trend's 70 miles per hour highway range test, the E4 Aukey model managed 241 miles, or just 6% short of the number printed on the window sticker. It's more common to see EVs land 10 to 20% below their EPA estimate in our real-world test. Because of that, the Aurea can claim longer legs than the Hyundai Ioniq 5 AWD, the Ford Mustang Mach-E GT, and the rear-wheel drive Volkswagen ID4 Pro, despite the fact that the latter two score bigger EPA numbers than the Nissan. Unfortunately, Nissan taints that victory by giving drivers wildly optimistic real-time guesstimates. With the battery full, the instrument cluster indicates the Aurea can cover 289 miles, and that wishful thinking persisted even as we accumulated miles. A Nissan rep explained the inaccuracy by saying the real-time prediction was an estimate, not an exact science. We have another theory. It's probably not a coincidence that the AWD Aurea thinks it can drive as far as the front-drive version. We suspect the AWD car is running an algorithm that was written for the more efficient model. Although its highway range is respectable, there are better choices for anyone planning to cover long distances in their electric SUV. With power peaking at a low 130 kW and quickly tapering off, fast charging the Aurea is only fast if you compare it to past generation EVs like the Chevrolet Bolt and the Nissan Leaf. The Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6 use an 800-volt architecture to charge much quicker. In the first 15 minutes of charging, the Nissan adds 92 miles of range, while the Kia EV6 AWD piles on an extra hour worth of driving with 164 miles added. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.